Okay, so I decided to test a brand new Core i7-930 CPU, which I acquired some time ago. And I did mark uh, potentially decent on LN2 on top of it, and I wanted to try it as I got some good practice with the 975 on multiple muffle boards. But anyways, this is the setting table for uh, some good scores. So you need to do double post, you need to uh, post and boot, uh, like save BCLK and PCI Express. You cannot boot uh, 130 PCI Express straight away. So I always start at 220 and 110. Once this posts successfully, I can raise these two to like 250 and 130 without a full clock gen reset or how's it called. If I change the encore speed, I always need to. Uh, uh, come back down to uh, these two because it will uh, shut down and turn on and that will hang if we have like 130 PC Express enabled. So uh, like so, CPU voltage 1.62, PLL around 1.45, VTT 1.58 and 1.9 volts on the memory. So pretty straightforward if you ask me. So uh, now I'll try some more again. Yeah, that's the new top score. Seems to be doing all right. A tiny bit better than my previous one. So uh, here's a brand new record score in SuperPi 32M at six minutes, 44.812 seconds. Previous one was uh, by Tapaka at uh, uh, six minutes. That's uh, 45.625 from uh, July of uh, 2011. So uh, almost 11 year old uh, top score. Obviously I held. Technically, the uh, rank one score on hardware bot for some time, but I never beat the old top score by Tapaka. So 5.311 over 5.3 gigahertz for SuperPi 32M. I think there's still headroom left for PiFast and 1M. I think it's worthwhile to test with just dual channel like uh, Sam did. So uh, he did run LN2 for this score. So uh, yeah, pretty all right. 4.8 on the encore and over 2000 mems, 686 for now. Yes, looks a bit weird, but for some reason I've had better performance with 686 compared to 675. So uh, I'll keep trying, but yeah, damn good result. Okay, that's yet another 32M top score. Okay, and that's yet another SuperPi 32M record score with the Core i7-930 at 5.345 GHz. Encore at over 5 GHz as well, close to 5.1. And memory is at 2036, 686, 20, 60 common rate 1 timings. So uh, almost a 4 second improvement over the previous top score by Tapaka or Samda OCX from Latvia. 
slash Netherlands. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so the X58 part of this overclocking session is now over. So uh, no big like gains this time around, if you ask me. The uh, brand new 930, which I now tested, is actually pretty on par with my previous 930. The only difference was the SuperPi 32M test. This CPU could go much higher in that test on the clock speed, like well above 5.3 GHz. I got the rank 1 score twice, first at 5.31 and the second time was 5.345. But then there was a very weird thing about the CPU. So I could run 32M very easily up to like 5.35, but then when I tried to run PyFast after 32M, it would often fail pretty instantly. So the funny thing was with the CPU that it could run 32M much easier than PyFast. Now we have seen that on 775 platform, especially with E8600 E E and E8400 like Wolfdale CPUs, that's why I like to use PyFast as the bidding test on 775, like Wolfdale's especially. So uh, no big gains at all. W Prime was actually uh, far behind my previous 930 CPU. I think this one was somewhere around like 5.2 something for W Prime. My old CPU was like 5.35 plus for W Prime 32M and even I think even on 1024M. So I think my previous 930 is actually the better CPU in the end. So I might actually sell this one, but at least I got the uh, most important uh, top score I really wanted to get, so the SuperPi 32M. The maximum uh, speed in PyFast and 1M was somewhere around like 257 or 258 BCLK with uh, CPU ratio of 21. So close to 5.4 gigahertz. I actually improved my PyFast performance by like 300 milliseconds. So the best run was like 15.6 something. But then it hang after I opened two CPU-Z uh, windows. So I couldn't save the screenshot with Capture PNG, but that's where the capture card comes in. So the capture card is a very good uh, device for this kind of uh, benchmarking because I have like a constant screenshot device running. So now I can just take like a screenshot from the capture card footage and upload the score that way. And if someone has uh, any uh, like say about that score, I can always just show the uh, video footage about the whole run. So uh, still quite far behind Semyon in uh, 1M and PyFast, so I definitely need to look for a better CPU. I tried dropping some of the memory sticks, but they didn't help at all. The maximum uh, temperature or the best temperature for the CPU was between like minus 105 degrees Celsius and minus 112. If I went colder, it usually became unstable. <sighs> so that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, still missing uh, two or three top scores with 930. We'll see if I can find a better CPU in the near future. The uh, most ideal CPUs for me to get the top scores on would be actually the 965 and the 975 because those are like the flagship models on the Bloomfield family. So we'll see. I still have maybe like 30 or 35 liters of LN2 remaining. So I will use that on the brand new G7400 Pentium CPU that will arrive here like tomorrow. I definitely need to confirm that CPU. And if I have some spare LN2 left after that, I might just try some uh, E8600. So that's pretty much it, I guess. So uh, huge thanks to uh, Jolcott and Alta University for supplying all of this LN2 for all of these different uh, scores we were able to get over the last like one week or so. So yeah, thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.